Marathon ringside stint in Seoul. Mackenzie against Bohol for the IBF World Flyweight Crown. And live at Wembley, formalities are about to begin. And certainly we're keyed up here at the ringside in the Grand Hall of Wembley with uh, the audience waiting side, Rolando Bohol. 21 years old from the Philippines who won this title in January this year in Manila when he outpointed Chang Ho Choi of South Korea. He's made one defense again in Manila in May and he outpointed another South Korean, Cho Woon Park. Rolando Bohol. Well, there have been some great Filipino fighters over the years. The country has produced a good few world champions. And here's the latest in the line. Rolando Bohol. <laughs> Robed and hooded in white. The champion. So we have the men in the ring and now the national anthem. the flyweight champion of the world, Rolando Bohol. Use him a bit because he looks very tough, doesn't he? Well, I think most So we believe him to be a strong, tough and aggressive man over the opening few rounds. him under a lot of pressure very quickly suddenly doesn't he suddenly oh. comes somewhere here tonight surely the former British and European oh. light world oh. I think he's got to throw a few more right hands for my liking because every time he throws that right hand he knocks that other guy off balance it's very noticeable that once uh, Duke eases up a bit this guy comes at him very very strongly doesn't he I think he only he needs a bit of encouragement I think he senses that, that Duke slows up a little bit and he just comes on stronger. They've got a bit of a swelling coming there because they're trying to iron it away with that steel. So, a little bit of concern. The other look at He allowed to bowl to do a little more work there. Well, I think, I think Mackenzie's doing a lovely bit of box fighting there as well and um, it's going to get tougher now, isn't it? Because the guy thinks he's behind. Well, you're sure to think that. He was, he was taught to box, uh, Bohol, by the great former world champion Flash Elordi. You must remember him. He was a 
world junior lightweight champion for seven years in the 1960s. He's dead now, but he taught this boy to box and also turned him into a southpaw. And that's why occasionally he goes back to his old way of uh, the other way around. But uh, he's now managed by the widow of Flashy Lordy and uh, one of those trainers in the corner there is the son of that great fighter. So it's a romantic story. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It has been exactly three weeks ago that the uh, Filipino nation roared in jubilation over the dramatic retaking of the World Flyweight Championship by an obscure and very self-effacing young man at the expense of an arrogant and high-flown Korean. Anyway, today, uh, coffee shop circles, barber shop circles, and even sari sari store circles are still abuzz with lively talk about what has to be one of the most dramatic, one of the most brutal, one of the most bloody, and one of the most fiercely fought championship fights in Philippine history since the glory days of Gabriel Flash Elorde and the Trela in Manila. Well, today, specifically tonight, we are going to respond to the clamor of millions of boxing fans throughout the archipelago. Yes, you know, after that fight, Joe, many people were asking me, when is the replay? Tonight is the replay. So uh, stay with us and witness how Rolando Bohol won the world flyweight crown. And the blue weighing 111 and a half pounds, the foremost challengers, the Philippines' brightest hope for the new world title. Our very own Rolando Bohol. One half pounds. He's from Providence, Rhode Island. His professional record, 30 victories against seven defeats and three draws, 10 by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, Rolando Bohol. There's that hook. He's still throwing it. He's looking at a fight on December 12th. So if you can tell you what, he hit him with some huge picking maybe. See, he did get it. With a straight left, Boha landed. He knows he won. But he's what a delightful, engaging young man he was when we talked to him. And the crowd appreciates the effort of both men and one. Weapon lying at that right hand of Rock is unfamiliar territory to both protagonists. Uh -huh. And the more physically conditioned fight of the night. Bohol scoring heavily in round one. He's been knocked down in his career, too. And Rolando Bohol knows that. Here he comes in. A left hander usually in soccer to the right there, Joe. He is a Korean complainer. A tremendous left uppercut by Rolando Bohol. And the Korean was stopped dead in the strike. Give the fighter. Yes. Good. Oh, has to keep good. The Roland Bohol has never been knocked out or knocked down in his good life. Good the midsection. Louis Ray scored it. One for the one for Toy and one for the five for Bohol. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, we have have been been as we gain the IBF yes, World Flyweight Crown. We have Rolando Mohol is the new Flyweight Champion of the International Boxing Federation. Again, a head collision. Here's Mohol coming up with a murderous finishing kick. He's letting it up. Another left to the pace by Mohol. And the Korean is down. The Korean is down. Now we have been standard by unanimous decision. And still, the ideal climate champion, Rolando Soho. There you have it.
uh, Saxomo. Bohol, trim and fit, looking strong. That was a wild left and right combination, but Bohol comes back, hits him. Oh, that was a left. And really, he is pouring on the punches, left and right combination, and Saxomo is down. That flurry of punches. Ron was very impressive, left and right combination. And Saxomuth did not know where the punches came from. That's right, Freddie, and Rolando Ball shows that he is a former champion. Well, that's the end hey. of round of the bouts. After two rounds, and Rolando Bohol of the Philippines wins over Saksamut Singh Samam, the second straight knockout by Filipino boxers against the Thai Challenge earlier. We had Luis Cito Espinosa winning in the first round after two minutes and 60 seconds, and now run in the uh, fight between Rolando Bohol and Saksamut of Thailand, the second straight knockout for the Philippines in February night fever here at the Ninoy Aquino Stadium. A big victory by Rolando Bohol. He is on a comeback trail, and he is on target. And it looks like uh, he has a good chance of being given another crack at the world title. He is rated number three for the IBF, and uh, maybe a few more fights, and he will be up there again as a champion in the world. Hey, on that point, you know, Ron, uh, I talked to Lope, uh, Papa Sarial, who's, uh, who's been uh, watching closely the, uh, the career of this one boy, and he said that one possibly against Global Command, the IBF uh, Junior Bantropo Champion from uh, Mexico, should they, he continue this kind of performance. Rolando Bohol winning by a knockout in the second round, and our friend Jesse Obrea is up on the ring to give the trophy donated by Mayor Pablo Cuneta of Pasay. And uh, you know, Rolando Bohol is the new Irish champion of the International Boxing Federation. early around in the fight. Here's a theory, and maybe we'll even have a chance to ask Rolando Bohol. That left hook that landed before that was a very hard left hook.